Welcome to 13 Hero Time 62's LEGO Set Reviews. You thought one collectible minifigure was enough for the minifig pick of the week? Guess what? We got three more in the exclusive LEGO Store Rock Band Pack. Set number six... Um, actually there is no set number in here, is there? Oh, yes there is. 850486 Retails for $15 at the LEGO Store. 62 pieces, ages 6 and up, and 3 minifigures based on the collectible minifigs with some altered clothes. Very cool, let's check it out. So here we are with our rock band pack. I got the top of it opened, and it slides out from the top in this little plastic container. We also have a background with a lot of lights on it for the back stage of a rock concert. Here's a little box that shows all the pieces, the instructions, and the minifigures themselves. The minifigures are already assembled, which is why I wonder why there are instructions showing how to put them together. This box is not taped, it just pops right off. And we got a little bag of pieces inside. Here we have our instruction manual. Little fold out. Should be a simple build. And we'll be right back. We're going to build this. Alright everyone, here is our full set. We got the speakers, drum set, the lights, the background, and the microphone stand. Let's take a look at some of our minifigures, and I'm comparing these to the originals released in packages. So here first we have the Rocker Girl and the Rock Band equivalent. It's basically the same printing, but we have a difference of color. Instead of black and blue and pink, we got just black and white. We still have printing on the sides of the legs. No back printing. Same hair, but different color, once again. And we have the same faces on both of these. And here is a look at our singers. I guess you could call them both rappers, because the original one on the left was a wrapper, so the one on the right might as well be. There's actually um, the same printing, but the heads are different. As you've, If I take off these hats, you'll notice the head 
for the one on the right in the set is actually from the Disco Stew, not from the original wrapper. So we do get a different head. And um, torso printing looks almost the same. This one's silver, this one this one's silver, this one's gold, as are the microphones and hats. No back printing on them. And last but not least, we have our drummer, originally a rocker guy, but I don't have the actual one to show you, so I can't compare him. I do know that the printing is exactly the same, different colors for the hair. Um, the legs were a lighter blue, and these are darker. And I think that instead of the, there's a little bit red in here, but it, the original one had a bit more red. And he also included his own guitar. We'll just sit him back in here and he can rock on the drums. The instructions were very well done, large and um, well made, but I wanted to point out a few errors that were in here. On the Rocker Girl, it shows that she has no sleeves when in, given in the set. She has sleeves. Also, the reverse happened for the wrapper. He has sleeves in the picture, but in the actual set, he does not have sleeves. Also, these are better look at the instructions. Misprinting there too. And here we see all the pieces included. It's two pages, folds up like this. and over like that. So once again, this is your complete set. There are no actual play features, but there are lots of cool feature um, little builds. You got two lights, two sets of speakers. I like the design on these. You get a microphone stand. You get a big drum set with the bass drum, snare drums and a hi-hat and a little seat for our minifigure to bang away on you get the background and you get a buildable guitar which I I would you know I would say this is a really awesome set if not for that that's the only thing I don't like about this all the other stuff is great but I wish that we had an actual plastic guitar like we have with this rocker girl from the collectible minifigures series 8 that would be the only thing I would change about this set I'm okay with the wrapper because Lego wanted to use the music type collectible minifigures together so this is a good scene for them even if you have a rapper with a rock band there are some you know like Linkin Park Rage Against the Machine um, there's a few others but, you know, this is okay. BC Boys, that counts. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is 13 Hour Time 62, signing off.